everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're going to continue our critique of these Reddit photos that we see. So in this setup, what's this one about? Title is, I'm done, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're ever done, but it's good to think that way. Uh, once again, too much clutter on the front. Good, good thought with the diffusion, but here's the thing with diffusion. You need to cover up really the whole surface area because you need the wall to act in a consistent and predictable manner. And if you cover the whole wall, or at least, you know, add maybe another four or five diffusers, and you get 60, 70% coverage. You turn the wall into a predictable and consistent performing image. And that's what you want. So, you know, you make a choice. Do we want diffusion on that surface area? If so, we've got to cover enough percentage of the wall surface area so that we get diffusion. Uh, a few units here or there is not going to help us. Too much clutter again between the speakers. You know, you you got to give sound energy, distance, and space. You really, really do. So let's take a look at the other picture. Oh. Couch against the back wall. Remember, four feet. That's going to be our magical number. That's a minimum. People will take it as gospel and say it has to be four feet. No, it has to be based upon the dimensions of the room and the usage. So you have to decide what you're going to do in the room and then look at the available space that you have. But never, never, never have a chair or a speaker against a room on these all right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, okay, good. So this one is finally finished one of my listing rooms. Great, my setup. Okay, so diffusion on the front wall, good. Vertical, one-dimensional, very good. Now, what's he going to get? He's going to get a room that has a front wall that sounds twice as large with no loss of resolution. He's got absorption in the corners. Okay. I don't see any low frequency absorption. In here. I see a lot of middle and high frequency absorption, but no low frequency absorption. Gear is far enough back from the speakers that the speakers are in free space. Doesn't look like we have a lot of clutter in the room. So this is an example of what to do, not what not to do, as we see in most cases. Seems like we get one out of 10. That's correct. So we have like a 90% error rate, which is not good. But here's an example of, of what to do in a room. Okay. Let's see, happy with my setup. Okay, so we got treatment on the front wall. Gear away from the front wall. Speakers away from the front wall. Uh, not far enough away from the side walls, but... You know, that's the way it's going to go, I guess, in room. So you got window on the left channel, not good for the system. A treatment on the front wall, looks like absorption or something. I don't know. But it's not diffusion. It's not the right kind of diffusion if it is. So that's the story with that. Look like any treatment on the ceiling, a rug on the floor. So we're getting better, you know, once again. The equipment should be really no higher than the amplifier. Is that the last one? Happy with my set. Yeah, that's the last one. So at least we saw a few in these photos where we had good setup. We had one with diffusion all the way across the front wall. So definitely uh, moving in the right direction. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.